she came to my office. Hey, devil, now lie, now lie, now lie, now lie, they talk. I said, come. They want to. They say you should go and buy this medicine. I will be praying before you come. I was looking for a way to go. How are you doing, my family? Welcome again to Direct TV, Broken to the Truth. Welcome, guys, to this special and wonderful episode of my video today. And, guys, um, you know, I'm always very excited when I see people, you know, um, comment on me for what I'm doing because it encourages me to keep pushing. It shows that I have people that are, you know, listening to me. And in today's video, guys, um, the man of God, the Archbishop Benson Daosa, you see, many times when we look at men of God, you know, sometimes we forget that they are also human beings, you know, they have feelings. So, um, in this particular video, um, the Archbishop Benson Daosa will be sharing something about um, a, a, how he raised, you know, a particular girl, you know, that his brain, her brain was actually crushed, you see. You no, know, he was actually afraid, but I'd like you to watch this, guys. And I'll be right back with the same similar testimony from the man of God, Reverend Dr. Chris. Oh, yeah, kill me, guys. So, before we dive into the video, for those of you coming new to my channel, hit the subscribe button, subscribe, like today's video, guys. And then let's watch this. I'll be right back. I have told you my secret, you don't know before. You didn't know before. Where God picked this one from, only He could have done it. Today he is the joy of millions of people through television and through contacts. Are you hearing me? Whenever she sees me, up to the day the son who is now in America died, he asked people to carry the boy and put him pick up. He said, Devil, trap. Oh yeah. Well, where? Eh, where? My papa did for house. Now you the crazy. What she said you go kill her. Now lie. He put her in for car. He come to church. He see one of our former senior pastor. That one say he. Sorry, oh, I hear what did happen. He say now you something happened to. Not me. My father there upstairs. One minute from now the boy go get up. She came to my office and say, Daddy, come oh, devil the crazy for us. He is not well. He's stupid. Same as this one. Come on, Flora. This one's daughter fell 17 feet from a story building. Broke the score. The report is still in Central Hospital. The report is still in neurosurgeon department in UI. That the score was broken and the child died. She came to my office. Hell, devil, now lie, now lie, now lie, now lie, you they talk, now lie. Came to my table half past five. Come out, oh, follow me, oh, follow me, oh, follow me, oh. He tie her belly. Come outside, follow me. Where will they go? Now, hospital. Doctor, don't tell lie. Devil, don't tell lie. You know how to be crazy and yet you are well. She was so quarrelsome with the enemy. Now, lie. The child with God, give me. Joy with God, give me. You know, if you take her. Now, lie, you tell her. You know that. Now, they are. I says, let's go. We got to Central Hospital. I met the Reverend Father. Who prayed final prayer? Life. May this may your spirit rest. May may the soul rest in peace. She just said that your soul go rest for peace. It's not my own. Now I lie you to talk. Not my begin die. Now you die. The Reverend Father quietly went out. She continued shouting, shouting. The, the doctors and the matron called me, say, Reverend. I say yes. Say come. Mama, wait. You are going to go and buy us medicine with our pocket number, two of them. They followed me. He said, you are He said, not me go buy the medicine. Not me go buy and another person will go send. They took me in. They lifted the cloth from where they covered her. Oxygen wasn't working. Nothing worked. And they say, she's dead. We know you believe in miracle, but not this one. When I saw the head, like basket of tomatoes, I call her, I say, Flora, come. Yeah, there's medicine they say you should go and buy. I will ask you to go and buy. He said, I know I'll come out here. If you don't raise them, I know I'll leave you. Unless you raise them, I know I'll leave you. I know I'll leave you. Now lie. Now lie. You go raise them. Today. Come, follow me. Follow. I said, come. They want to. They say you should go and buy this medicine. I will be praying before you come. I was looking for a way to go. was looking for a way to go 
I say when she go to buy medicine, I will escort those people who are taking the child to mortuary. She refused. He said, pray, oh, pray, oh, pray. Oh. You didn't hear me, so pray. Oh. You better pray now. You know, come out here. I said, Flora, doctor says you should go and buy this medicine. I know they go anywhere. Nala, hey, hey, mebe. Hey, hey, bien. She held me, I what I, this woman. Took my hand and lay on the child. Before I know where I was, I've already said, In the name of Jesus. Leave in the name of Jesus. What school is she today? She's in the. She has finished. She has finished. She was in Auchi, OND. She finished her OND. But she's alive. She's walking. Where is she walking? But her court. Where's the one that was in pickup? When this one took me to the pickup, he said, Tell her, make it follow me, go home. Now, I know prayer. I said, What was the name now? Ejiro. 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 You know, here when your mama talk, get up. Before we know where we did, Jiro sit down for a True life story. Where is Jiro today? A big man in the U.S. <laughs> Say I'm at advantage. Hey, Jiro is coming home to marry. He's coming home to wed. You don't know the God you are serving. Thyself with him, then be we at peace. Say so that's me from now. All right, my family, there you have it. But I want you to listen to another testimony, a similar one, a similar one. But I want you to kindly notice that many of these testimony they are shared, you know, it is because women had faith. And it's see, I want you to listen to this guys, just listen to this one. And you understand, if you are a woman and you don't know the kind of faith you should have, you got to wake up, you got to wake up. Just watch this, guys. And I'll be right back from the man of God, Dr. Chris. Thank you, Lord. Take this testimony. Tell me. We just got a call from a lady whose husband died earlier today. All right. And they were waiting for you to come out. Yeah. And pass all through the administration, they were waiting. And then when you began to pray just now, the man came back from the dead. He's alive. I told you. Did you hear that? A man just came back to life after he died hours ago, died in the morning. Now he's back to life. I told you Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. It's wonderful. That's just one of them. There are others. There are others. You're going to hear more. That's amazing. Oh, wonderful. Thank you, Lord Jesus. That's wonderful. That was faith. They waited. They waited. They waited for the healing streams. The men died in the morning. They waited. They knew it was going to happen. They knew. That woman refused to give up. She knew it was going to happen. And death will not have power over that man anymore. Glory be to God. I told you. I told you about those angels. I told you about the angels of healing. And the one that raises the dead. They were so ready for this program. And so much is happening all over the world. Thanks be unto God. Hallelujah. What a way to close the testimony segment. <laughs> Hallelujah. You know guys, um, there you have it. But while thinking or while watching these videos, you know, something actually crossed my mind. And it was the fact that you know, these testimonies came from the faith of women. It came from the faith of women. Look at those two women. They refused to give up. You know, those two women, um, you know, 
that the Archbishop shared about. They refused to give up. All right. They said no. They are, going, they are not going to accept it. They are not going to accept it. I know in this our generation, a lot of our women needs to wake up. You know, you know. Uh, the Bible tells us that you know, through faith, you know, women brought their dead ones back to life. See, and it's happening in our days. See, it's happening. Just the same testimony. So if you are a woman, if you are a woman, man, you know that there's a lot of faith you got to have. There's a lot of faith you got to have. You know, because you are the one to keep the home. See, I was just so inspired by this testimony. I'm, this is not just about women, including men. There are many testimonies about men too. But you know, I was just inspired by this, the faith of these women. They didn't give up. They didn't give up. All right. They didn't give up. They didn't accept it. No, they could, they could not accept it. Amazing. Thank you so much, guys. I'd love to know what has blessed you into this particular video. And for those of you watching um, my video for the first time, just click the subscribe button, subscribe, like to this video, guys. See you in my next video. Bye.